black soldiers take the wrong lines for the truth to die for us. Hey y'all. <clears throat> so um just chilling here, taking a break in the car, <laughs> relaxing, taking a smoke break, and uh, jamming up my music. And uh, had a crip come by my car. You know, asked me what I'm up to. You know, saying what you doing here? Well, I'm fucking being security. What the hell do you think I'm doing here? You know what I'm saying? Um. So, you know, get to talking. He's like, you know, what y'all gonna do? You know, this, and that, and the other. And I said, well, you know, to be honest, you know, I'm gonna actually watch y'all fuck this corporation up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't actually gonna defend shit. And, uh, he fucking flipped out. I was like, what the fuck? You know, so I broke it out to him, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I hit up all in on, you know what I'm saying? And I explained to him that him being in the crypts, that he's been subjected to the manipulation. And he's actually been forced to pick a side and strike against his fellow man. All for another corporation. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he... He feels like he's not a corporation, but he is. And, uh, you know, I had to explain that to him and uh, tell him, you know, he's got to do some outreach. You know what I'm saying? Reach out to some of the uh, other gangs. You know what I'm saying? Not just the members and the Crips, you know what I'm saying? But reach out to the blood, the folk, the, everybody. You know what I'm saying? The kings, the knights, the counts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, MS-13, you know what I'm saying, MS-13's already know what's up, you know what I'm saying, uh, we've already, Anon's already absorbing the fuck out of MS-13, which was, was the world's largest gang, and now, apparently, Anonymous is the world's largest gang, and, um, you know, I, I just think that, you know, more unity is needed, you know, I know more unity, I don't think it, it is needed, you know, that's, that's the meat and potatoes of it all, you know what I'm saying? Unify, 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 unify. And, uh, I just think it's pretty badass that in less than the time it takes for me to smoke a cigarette, I was able to get this thug, you know what I'm saying, hardcore, you know what I'm saying, to understand, hey, next time I see a blood, I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to him and speak to him man to man like I spoke to him. And, you know, that's, that's what it's about, y'all. You know, that's what it's about. You know, people think that it's all about fuck the system. You know what I'm saying? It's not really all about fuck the system. It's all about fuck yeah, us. You know what I'm saying? The people. Anyways, anyways. Um, here we go. Here's a topic since all my shit ain't fucking uploading and processing. It uploads, but it doesn't published, so, you know, it says it's still processed, and I got, like, damn, 25 videos still processing, so hopefully this one pass, um, check it out, Target, right, the Target, Target, hack, right, and, uh, everybody's like, who the hell did that, who the hell did that, well, who the fuck do you think did that, come on, come on, let's see a show of hands here if you know who did it, the government did it, of course they did, you know what I'm saying, of course the government did it. You know what I'm saying? They took everybody's Target shit, and uh, what they did was they targeted all the people from Target that did not have the RFID cards, okay? Now, I think it's fucking hilarious that everybody has heard about the damn Target hack, it seems, uh, where they lost, what, 90,000 or 90 million, something like that. Yeah, 90 million uh, people's information, right, the credit card information, phone, email addresses, and all that good shit, and you didn't hear about Experian, did you, Experian got hacked too, y'all, 200 million people's information got taken from Experian, okay, you got like 300 million people in America, right, and that includes children, so... If you think about it, you know, a third of the population being children, of course, Experian doesn't have their credit information. So, basically, everybody's fucking information got taken. You see, they're going to tell you about Target, but they ain't going to tell you about Experian. Now, why? You know what I'm saying? Why? Why would the government take Target's information whenever they're the ones that created our information to begin with, right? They're the ones that tagged us. They're the ones that gave us, you know, the, the damn 
force us to have birth certificates and you know the census and you know being head counted and social security numbers and the whole good nine um, it, they already got all of our information right well the reason they did it is to make us feel more insecure about our system make us feel more insecure about everything that we deal with and the way that we deal with it see we all need to get that chip in us you know what I'm saying that, that same chip that we take out you know what I'm saying that same fucking chip they want us to accept it, okay? And that way, all of our credit's safe. You know what I'm saying? It shows where we are, and we did make that transaction, and, you know, it streamlines everything. And uh, one of the fun facts about this RFID thing is that's their end game. You know what I'm saying? That's their final goal, okay? Their goal is to have full control over everybody through RFID. So, you know me, I'm out of box thinker, you know, I like to think a little bit differently than your average person. And I thought, what if, fuck it, what if we all just decided, alright, go ahead and give us our chips. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and give us our chips. Give us your credit system. Let's go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? Bam! Let them slam their whole network together. And then we turn off all of our fucking RFID. I mean, fuck it. I mean, if, if this is their goal, let them go ahead and build it to their goal, and then we just take it at the end. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, to me, you know, it's almost feasible. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's dangerous, yeah, but it's definitely food for thought. You know, it's it's not a 100% bad idea. Because what, uh, oh, what's that fucking Rockefeller fucker said is that uh, if we break the laws and we don't abide by their rules and regulations... And they're going to turn off our RFID. And since everything in our social lives is going to revolve around it, you know, our money and our bank and our uh, renting movies and starting your car probably and everything else under the sun, um, they'll just turn it off. And that, that'd be our punishment. You know what I'm saying? So we'll have to abide by them in order to be able to enjoy the shit that they've created. Well... Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I think it'd be funny if we get them little RFID cards. I mean, chips, right? And we just take them out of ourselves and put them in like a hamster or something. And put the hamster in a little cage inside a little ground drone. You know what I'm saying? We got our map laid out of where we live and all that stuff. And now you have this little RFID drone hamster of you taking this path. You know what I'm saying? Showing on the system exactly where you're going. You know what I'm saying? That's not you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that, 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 put the hamster in your pocket whenever you want to buy something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look, y'all, there's ways around it. You know what I'm saying? We can adapt. You know what I'm saying? And I believe that we can allow them to do their bullshit and just fucking take it at the end and give it to the fucking people and destroy their fucking crap. I mean, let them build it just to break it. Fuck it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? Outside the box thinking... Probably not exactly on point. Not really caring, though. You know what I'm saying? Really don't. But, you know, I just... My perspective, you know what I'm saying? It's just how I see it. Why not? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying go and do it. But, I don't know. I might be. Who knows? I don't know. It all just depends on how you interpret what I say. You know what I'm saying? You could be thinking I'm saying something completely different. Well... This is about to be a nine minute video and you know me, I don't like to waste y'all's time. So, y'all have a great one. Stay strong.